The snow ban is for the priority two roads. You can't park on the priority one roads anyway. If people are parking on Crow Child Trail, we've got a bigger problem. Uh, so there's no point in asking people to move their cars off of the priority two roads when we're still working on the priority one roads. So in this particular case, uh, as long as the snow holds off, the crews should be finishing up the Priority 1 roads right about now, uh, which means they'll start on the Priority 2 roads. Now, we're not going to call a parking ban in the middle of the workday, so we'll have to see how well they do uh, over the course of the day today. If they actually get a real head start on it, it may mean that a ban is not needed and we'll just have windrows a little bit out in the roads. But we'll have to see how they're doing over the course of the day and then make a call because we do want to give people lots of notice. I certainly would like to see enough notice given to residents so that they could have say their cars off the street before they go to bed rather than before they get up. And one of the things we recognize is that it's actually really inconvenient for a lot of folks. Uh, it does mean that we can plow those priority two streets 30 to 40 percent faster um, but if we can get them done while well, people are at work anyway then we'll get them done. But did the reaction to the 6 o'clock ban last time eliminate further 6 a.m. bans? And uh, you know, we, as I've said before, that was only the second or third time that we have actually implemented one, so we're still tweaking. Uh, and I didn't really like the 6 a.m. I thought it was too early. Uh, so we're going to probably try a little bit later this time, but again, we may or may not call one this time.